for the next 75 seconds. <laughs> we talk about how cool it is outside. How cool it is outside. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming today. Oh, yeah. that, we, we can do that. <laughs> It's a 380. We're live. Is that going to be live? Go Bearcats. No. Um, <laughs> it's of course. Nice Are we into something right now? Hey. It's, it's well, a, I know, but it's a year round. It's still. What's today? The night? We are approximately 45 days away from the start of the Lido Bearcat football. Oh, my word. And their chase for the eighth state championship. They already did eight. So the ninth. Yeah. How can you not know that? You're fired, man. The ninth. How many state championships has Stephenville won? Less than nine, right? <laughs> so, so. <laughs> yeah. Less than. How many state championships has Brownwood won? Seven. <laughs> so that would be less than nine. Okay, sit down yourself, upset people. <laughs> All right. We're ready. I'm going to call a meeting to order at 7 p.m. We have Raymond Johnson who will lead us in our invocation and pledge. Okay. Uh, Lord, we come to you tonight with grateful hearts. We thank you for this city. God, we ask your hands to be upon the city. We thank you for the council members, the city staff, the citizens of the city. And Lord, we just were nothing without you. We put all our trust in you. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I don't believe we have anyone that's uh, filled out paperwork for public comments, so we'll, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Um, on the consent agenda is to approve the council minutes from May 14th, May 21st, June 4th, June 11th, do I have a motion? I need to list all the dates. <laughs> um, I move that we approve minutes from, have it in front of me, excuse me, that we approve the city council minutes from May 14th, May 21st, and June 4th. June 11th. June 11th. Oh, excuse me, June 11th. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? The, ne the next is the regular agenda items. The first item is to consider and act on a request to rezone from local retail IH20 Overlay District to commercial IH20 Overlay District, 19.80 acres situated in the Wesley Franklin Survey. Abstract number 468 and the McKinney and Williams survey. Abstract number 954, City of Willow Park, Parker County, Texas. Located in the 4200 block of I-20 Service Road North. I will open the public hearing. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, this is a public hearing for uh, rezoning from local retail to commercial, and the property is located within the I-20 overlay district. It does come forth as a favorable recommendation from staff and the Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, you have in your packet the drawing that shows the property. You also have in your packet the land use map which shows the area to be uh, Interstate 20 District on the land use map, which is not the zoning map. You have the zoning map in your packet, and you also have ordinance number 795-19, which would affect the zoning change if you concur with the commission's recommendation. Uh, we did not have anyone speak at the public hearing, either in support or in opposition to the request. And if you have any questions of the staff report, I'd be happy to answer those. What's the purpose for this rezoning request? Uh, for development, if you remember, of the property, if you remember last month, um, can I go back? I'm on, well, that's what I was pushing. Uh, you had a preliminary plat 
uh, for this property to subdivide it into three three large lots. If you remember, uh, there was to be the extension of J.D. Tolls Drive and also Gemma Drive, which goes through uh, kind of the middle of the property running north and south. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, there it is. And uh, this is to facilitate the development. I'm just going to take it away from me. <laughs> oh. That's but yes, it is for future. It is for future development, and we should have um, we had the preliminary plat that was approved last month by commission and council, and uh, in August the commission will have a final plat. Okay. Do we know? Can you just explain the difference between LR and commercial? Local retail is more of the smaller business. Um, in fact, some of the majority of the properties back to the east uh, in the shops and all were zoned commercial. Um, mm -hmm. Good. You um, probably the more significant changes or additions, you can have auditoriums and theaters in commercial that you do not have in local retail. Uh, you can have a business college, private school, department stores, uh, household and office furniture, and appliance stores, uh, hotels are allowed in the commercial as well as uh, diagnostic and healthcare facilities and assisted living. Those okay. are some of the primary additions so just to commercial. Size, just yes, just larger type of difference. yes. And if you remember, uh, Tolls Drive is to be a collector street, and of course, you've already got the access mm -hmm. service road uh, mm -hmm. adjacent to the property. Any other questions for Betty? That's directly to the uh, west of the hospital, correct? Yes, sir. It is to the west of the hospital. You know, there's a section of undeveloped property between the hospital and what is now Mary Lou Drive. <laughs> Any other questions for Betty? We had no one sign up for a public hearing. If that's all the questions we have. I'll close the public hearing at 7.05. Next, we have we can act on ordinance 795-19, which is on page 28 of your packet. Do we have any discussion or a motion? So I'll make a motion to uh, approve ordinance 795-19, uh, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Willow Park, Texas, providing for a change in zoning to commercial IH-20 overlay district classification and use designation for that certain 19.80 acres of land located in the West Franklin Survey Abstract Number 468, the McKinney and Williams Survey Abstract Number 954, all in Parker County and the City of Willow Park, Texas, repealing conflicting ordinances providing for a penalty providing for a severability clause and providing for a defective date. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Do we have any discussion? Question? All in favor? Thank you. The next item on the agenda is uh, to consider an act on a final plat of a replat of lots 3R1 through 3R5. Block A, Crown Point Edition, Phase 2, City of Willow Park, Parker County, Texas, located on Crown Point Boulevard and J.D. Tolls Drive. Hey, thank you. Uh, this is a final plat. Uh, it is to replat this 3.27 acre tract of land into five lots. Um, we kind of highlighted or, or kind of did colors. Lot 3R1 and 3R2 are presently developed with 6,000 square foot buildings. The proposed lot 3R3, 3R4, and 3R5 are vacant lots. They're all three a little over half acre in size. Uh, the property is zoned commercial district. Uh, the property is served with a 12 inch water main and 8 inch Sanitary Sewer Main in Crown Point Boulevard and J.D. Tolls Drive. Uh, the entrances and fire lanes will be installed and marked by the developer in the locations per the plat. The 
entrance on Tolls Drive will line up with the one of the proposed entrances to the Willow Park Baptist Church when that plat final plat is approved, uh, which should be forthcoming. Um, included in this plat is a blanket cross access and parking space agreement. Uh, it was a recommendation of staff and the commission, and that has been included as item five in the general notes, which will facilitate the movement. Lot 3R2 is basically landlocked. It would be accessed off the easement or could come across. But all of the lot will be left open, so it will have joint access, uh, and they can utilize the joint parking spaces. Um, this replat comes forth with a favorable recommendation from staff and also from unanimous recommendation from the commission. You have in your packet the plat application, the final plat, and then this marked plat to show you uh, the different lots. Uh, Cynthia Swift with Baron Stark Engineers is here if you have any questions, or I'd be happy to answer those on the staff report. Do we have any questions? Betty or Cynthia. So what's the plan? What's going in there? Uh, there are the two the two buildings that are located on the south side on 3R1 and 3R2, I believe, are presently leased or they're finishing up lease agreements on those. And then the other three lots would also be for office buildings. Any further questions? Do I have a motion? Huh. Okay, I will move. Okay, I'm saying, let me get back up here. <laughs> that so we have read read the final plat. <laughs> Thank of you. The replat of lots 3R1 through 3R5, Block A, Crown Point Edition, Phase 2, City of Willow Park, Parker County, Texas, located on Crown Point Boulevard and JD Tiles Drive. Do I have a second? second? No second. All right. Any discussion? All in favor? Mm -hmm. Motion passes. Thank you. <clears throat> the next item on the agenda is to consider an act on a site plan for a bank on a 3.35 acre part of Lot 1 Pile Edition, City of Willow Park, Parker County, Texas, located on the southwest corner of I-20 Service Road South and Willow Bend Drive. Okay, thank you. Uh, this property uh, is located in the commercial I-20 overlay district. It is also located in planning area four, which is the south side of the interstate. Uh, there are uh, higher standards within the I-20 overlay district in this bank and office Offices will complement and enhance the new and existing development that we have in the area. This is the property that would be located to the east of Brookshire's Grocery and also immediately to the west of where Starbucks and the other building uh, on Willow Bend Drive are being constructed at this time. This is a 43,780 square foot three-story office building and bank building. Uh, if you remember in the I-20 overlay district, it does allow for a maximum height of 50 feet, and that is the overall height of this structure. The first floor uh, will be approximately 5,400 square foot of bank area. There is 6,400 square foot of parking garage closed, covered in enclosed parking, and then there is 1,400 square foot drive-through bank that is on the south side of the building. Uh, the second and third floors will be approximately 14,500 square foot of office and lobby area each. Uh, the bank and office complex will be accessed from Willowbend Drive and cross access will be provided back to Brookshire's Grocery and then there's also cross access. On the southern portion you can see there's, oh, I believe it's approximately eight tenths of an acre of land on the south end that is at Willow Bend Drive and Willow Crossing Drive. And that is going that is an undeveloped lot. In fact, next month you will have a replat of this property uh, to sever the bank track and then leave the undeveloped track to the south. Uh, there will be 
entrances on Willow Bend Drive that align with the properties to the east, and there's also one proposed entrance exit on the south end on Willow Crossing Drive, uh, be on the southeast, southwest corner of the property. Uh, this comes forth with a favorable recommendation from Planning and Zoning Commission and staff. Uh, the two stipulations are that the property does need to be replatted, and that will come forth to the commission uh, actually next week and then to the council in August. And then they're are going to need to relocate the fire department connection outside of what is considered the collapse zone of the building a little further away from that. And they have agreed to that, so those will be incorporated into the site plan. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer those. I know that drainage over there is kind of a mess. Like we're in Willow Park. Drainage. <laughs> drainage is just kind of a mess. <laughs> I mean, what kind of measures are we taking for the to mitigate any increased drainage that's going to cause you know all that concrete going on there? The new there is, of course, the parking lots will be designed to handle and release the storm water I just back make to the streets. It won't just slide off there you yeah. know there will be there will be some control in that there will also be submitted with the uh, construction drawings the drainage improvement plans there's also going to be it's not very tall you know the elevations change between the brochures property and, and this property and there will be a small retaining wall there okay there's a lot of drainage that goes off into Willow Park Village Back, you know, that yes, we, yes. We, the majority of the water flows yeah, back goes to back. the south and is the southeast. Is, that, is the, their water going to stay going that direction off of this property? You know, obviously development is going to put more impervious cover on the property, and we understand that there will be more water released. Mm -hmm. It's basically drainage ordinances say that you will detain the water and release it at no greater a speed than you did prior to development. So it, it kind of base, controls the water, and you can control them within parking lots. And there is, you know, there is some some underground storm sewer in there. Okay. Not a lot, but. So how, how would we know if it was adequate or not? That's what I'm, well, I'm getting at. What the re, you know. Their engineer will, will do the drainage design and the calculations, and then uh, so. our Consulting engineer Derek Turner will review that to be sure that it complies with okay. the ordinance. So when they come back with their final plat, if it's like, no, nope, this is not enough drainage, then we. Well, actually, that comes with the construction drawings. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I just am trying to put that out there. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Betty, uh, and this may be more towards Derek uh, traffic. So, Willow Bend Drive comes off into the service road. Where is that in relation to the on ramp? 20. Is that current on ramp? Current? Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's to the west of there. It's quite a bit west. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit west. So they'll be able to come down Willow Bend Drive and then still access the on ramp? No. Where it's no. Going? No. 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 It'll be a, it'll be an eastbound. It, yeah. Right. Of they'll they'll turn back to the east, or if if they want to go back to Ranch, so they'll have they, to stay on the service road they, and go up to 1187. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they can backtrack or on. Go back. To go back. They could go yeah. back to Ranch House. To ranch House and come back. So uh, until a tech stop moves the ramp, because that's still planned, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, what are we looking at traffic-wise? Well, now if you remember Willow Bend Drive, when we I think we discussed this probably maybe even back when you were on the Planning and Zoning Commission when we did the village mm -hmm. at Willow Park development, you know. Willow Bend Drive is wider, and you know there are alternate routes to take from it back either to the west to Ranch House or you know to the east where you could get back on the interstate. So, you know there is still pretty good traffic flow. Also, remember too that there is cross access for all of the properties on the east side of Willow Bend Drive. There will be cross access, so you don't have to come back out onto Willow Bend Drive to go, say, from Starbucks down to Fuzzies. You can you can go stay off of off of the road. So that's going to facilitate some of the traffic movement and hopefully, you know, disperse that traffic. Of course, it can go back to the south to Bankhead. Yeah, that's my concern. Is you have Starbucks, you know, uh, right across the street, then Fuzzies right down the street. You're going to have a lot of in and out of traffic uh, going through there. 
But now those streets, both Willow Crossing Drive that runs east and west and Willow Bend Drive were both designed to be collector streets mm -hmm. to handle, you know, to handle that traffic. Obviously when the uh, entrance exit ramp is is moved and adjusted, it will help. And then there is discussion of removing that obstruction. <laughs> the, the, um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. We'll go Whatever we want to well, call it. Well, you had said the second and third floor, um, that's not retail or no. office space. Right. It's, it's it is not it is pretty pretty minimal for space. creating traffic. Yeah. So and, and, and obviously some of that office space on the, I think probably on the second floor will, will also be the banks. Right. So do we have an idea when TxDOT is going to Sometimes <laughs> this century. <laughs> I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> uh, TxDOT is is in the process of working on it. When we met with the last meeting we had with TxDOT, uh, their parting words to us was, "We'll take the lead on it." Um, I don't know exactly what that means. Two months later, three months later. Right. Um, but. I know that this is on their radar. They understand that they need to move it. And the thing that's going to expedite that is they know where they want to take it. There's an old way station there, mm -hmm. and they want to convert the entrance ramp of that way station into um, the other challenge will be, and, and the traffic engineers in the room can help me, the opposite side on the north side of 20, the exit ramp, they want to relocate that as well at the same time. And so I think that's... It's not necessarily that particular on-ramp, it's the exit ramp on the north side right. that's that's creating a, a, a robust discussion. That's all I have. Okay. Any other questions for Betty? Do we have a motion? I move that we approve the site plan for the bank on 3.35 acre tract of land, pile addition, City of Willow Park. Do I have a second? Second. Second, Greg. Second. Any, any discussion? All in favor? Motion passes. Thank you. Next item is to consider an act uh, to accept the dedication of a 0 0.41 acre tract of land as a right-of-way for Mary Lou Drive. Okay, last but not least, um, this is 0.41 acres of dedication of Lake Hanna for Mary Lou Drive in Greenville County, Alabama. And it is a proposed selection in this uh, area. You can see the highlighted area here. This is the portion of of the Quest Estate that will get the certificate, not of the act. Um, it will also have the property tax deed. Um, and it will have the property tax deed that will place this uh, in connection with the park. Come forth to the city for their acceptance. I'd be happy to answer those. And oh, I thought Miss Swift left. Any questions for Betty? Do I have a motion? I move that we approve the right of way dedication, Mary Lou Drive, that uh, brings in 0. 0.41 acres. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Mm -hmm. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor and Council. <laughs> All right, the next item is to consider an act on approving a life care EMS first responder agreement. Chief? Council, citizens, everybody, thank you all. Um, I added on uh, in front of you the actual Dear Chief letter that I received from Life Care EMS. Uh, I apologize I couldn't find it at first to put it in with the agenda. So now you have it in front of you. Uh, basically, the uh, letter was, hey, we want to 
revisit a renewal contract. So we had a meeting of the, the fire chiefs in Parker County with uh, Life Care, and they came up with the attached uh, agreement, uh, EMS agreement between Parker County Hospital District, Life Care EMS, and uh, all of the first responder organizations. So I'm just seeking approval to get this uh, signed and sent back to them and renew our first responder organization agreement. Uh, they are giving us the uh, Life Pack 500 uh, automatic defibrillators. So, uh, so we're having that. Nothing else has really changed. They've had terms and uh, termination. Uh, originally, they had uh, shells, and we asked them to change them to mays, uh, just with personnel issues and everything. And so, that's really it in a nutshell. To what? Maze? To, to maze okay. uh, instead of shalls. Uh, shall. You shall. Oh, okay, uh, maze. You shall do this. And it's like, hey, we can't handle shalls. Can you change that to maze? Okay. And so uh, right. so we were able to change the, the verbiage over to maze. Gotcha. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Do you have any questions for Chief? Mike, you want to explain why we have to have this agreement? So we have to have this agreement uh, since we don't run uh, EMS through the fire department or have our own city-based uh, ambulance service. We have to have a uh, first responders organization uh, agreement between us and the, and the ambulance. So we'll do our basic life support and take care of everybody to the best of our level of, of BLS care. And then the ambulance will transport them to the, to the hospital. And so we have to have this to respond to those medical calls. Uh, this is a chest pain calls, difficulty breathing, stuff like that. It, it doesn't affect our responding to uh, motor vehicle accidents on streets, roadways, or anything else that uh, started off a, a structure fire, became a, a victim. Mm -hmm. That doesn't change any of that. This is all basically for all of our medical calls. Okay. So, yes, sir. Any other questions for Chief? Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to uh, approve the uh, EMS provider uh, first responder agreement between Parker County Hospital District Life Care EMS and Will Park Fire Rescue Department. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the next item is to consider an act on approving a contract with Health and Associates <coughs> for Engineering Services with the Fort Worth, for the Fort Worth Water Project. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, council, members, citizens, um, this is to basically uh, consummate the agreement that, that we have with HALF uh, to give you how we got here um, back uh, end of 2018, the beginning of 2019, we put an RFP out for Engineering Services for the Fort Worth Water Project. Um, we awarded a, um, a bid to Half and Associates, in, I think it was in January of 2019, uh, maybe February of 2019. But we've never con we never executed a contract with them. A couple of reasons why, one, we didn't have an agreement with Fort Worth in place, and two, we didn't have a, a date for funding to start the project to begin with. Um, we now have the agreement with Fort Worth in place, and we now have a date with the Water Development Board to start obtaining the funds. Um, this agreement, if, if passed tonight, will allow Half and Associates, as well as Jacob Martin, to begin engineering services on the project, even though we don't have the funds in hand and in-house today. Um, it's staff recommendation that uh, you adopt the contract with Half and Associates, uh, I spoke with Patrick Lawler in the city of Hudson Oaks. They are in agreement with HALF, um, and they are a um, qualified engineering firm to provide these services. And Hudson Oaks has already approved it? Hudson Oaks will not approve it. Um, we are the sole... Um, Source? Yeah. We're, we're the... the we're, to quote famous George W. Bush, we're the decider. 
Um, and and uh, but we do want to work with our friends over in Hudson Oaks and consult with them on on all these decisions. And and Patrick and I agreed that half is uh, is the most qualified. Yeah. I will say in the in the packet that we have July twenty second as a date to get awarded from the Water Development Board. We received an email this morning saying that that will be pushed back to August the fifteenth. Um, the Water Development Board has a number of staffing issues. Um, and they were not prepared. They could not prepare their staff memo for their board action on July 22nd, so they're moving it to the August 15th meeting. Um, but if you sign this tonight, these guys can get to start working on it and, uh, and start getting the preliminary engineering out of the way. Right, any questions for Brian? Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the contract with half associates for engineering services for the Fort Worth Water Project. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Thank you. Motion <coughs> passes. Thank you. Next item is to consider an act on an amendment to an agreement with Bureau of Veritas of North America. And regarding new plan review and inspection fees for residential construction. Morning, Mayor. Or good evening. And City Council, this is more of a housekeeping item that we need to address uh, in relation to House Bill, I believe it was 852, uh, where uh, to give you a summarization of it's within your packet, uh, what, it, what it entails. It's how residential. Uh, inspection fees and permit fees are established and, and passed in this city and other municipalities based on square footage and value of a home and that's both for new construction and and improvements well house bill 852 said you can't do that uh, you can't ask for value of the of the property nor can you ask the have cost of the construction or um, the cost to remodel so bureau veritas has sent us which we contract with um, as far as to do our plan review and also our inspections for residential commercial um, uh, development. So what we are requesting is that the council gives the city manager the authority to enter into, we, ha we have to sign an amendment to our contract with them and they went ahead and put together uh, a, a price sheet which we'll talk about in item number eight uh, as a, a, a new fee schedule for our residential um, fees and far as how you pay for it. So this probably should have been number eight and the other one should have been number seven, but uh, I do apologize for getting those out of order. So it's more of a housekeeping item. We, we, we need to do this. I'd be happy to any, answer any questions that you may have. So the mechanism, uh, so they're brought in to do the inspection and assessment or how no, I'm sorry, I do apologize. As far as how it's based now, as, as municipalities are, are, are doing it, it's based on the square footage. So it, it breaks it down, when we look in, on, in item number eight, it breaks it down per square footage. So like zero to 1,499 square feet is a flat rate of X. Mm -hmm. And then from 1,500 to 9,099 is a flat rate plus a square footage of X. Okay. And then 10,000 to infinity is a flat rate in X. So our contract amendment is structured that same way with Bureau of Veritas. Okay. So, and then we have our, we, we cover our costs with you know, Bureau of Veritas, what it costs for them to review our plans and also do the inspection based on the fees that we uh, assess to the uh, builder or the homeowner. Okay. Any other questions for Bernie? So, got a few. <laughs> so, kind of lead me along here. Yes. So, we approve this, then we have to update our ordinance? No, sir. This no. is just our fee schedule we're updating tonight. Is that our fee schedule is, is dictated by council that what we, we charge per uh, our residential. The residential is the only one that's impacted right now. Right. So it's an amendment. So we're going back and instead of saying for a $280,000 home that's 2,800 square foot, your permit will be X. Uh, what we have to do now is say, okay, this house, new construction, is 2,800 square feet, and I've got a, an equation that figures out what their permit fees are 
that they pay for today. So I'm not asking for the value of it. I can't legally right. ask them for the value. I just can only ask them for the square footage of the new construction or the um, uh, redevelopment of home. But the current permit fees are in a ordinance now, right? Correct. Correct. So we're going to end up amending the ordinance with the, the updated permit. Fee. You're, you're going to amend your fee schedule. Which yeah. Your fee schedule is, is, is your ordinance. I mean, that's what we charge. So you adopt that by council. Correct me if I'm wrong, Councillor, but you're adopting, you're amending your fee schedule, which sets your fees that you collect for this event. That is correct. So we don't have to amend the ordinance. You amend the fee schedule that's part of the ordinance. The ordinance establishes a fee schedule to be set, mm -hmm. and then the fee schedule can change without changing okay. the ordinance. Think of it as the fee schedule as an exhibit to the ordinance. Okay. That's a better way of putting it. Who knows, Red Raider? Guns up. So, just out of curiosity, for uh, quite a bad question. So, what do we charge for uh, currently for a three thousand square foot house? If you're dealing, and I, I ran the equation, I'd be happy to tell you. If you ran a three thousand square foot house, house based on valuation, what we do currently, it's a little over three thousand. I think it's what thirty, maybe thirty five hundred. It's for your. So this is not going to change a whole lot from what I can see. Now, what we have done, and I'll say this, myself uh, and our, uh, we, we reached out to Hudson Oaks. We also reached out to Alito, our sister cities that we have in the area, and had a discussion, what, what are they charging? So the fee schedule you'll see in item number eight is going to be the same fee schedule that Hudson Oaks is going to adopt later this month. So we're basically, we're charging the same thing. And then from where we did our due diligence to make sure that we cover our costs associated with what Bureau of Veritas is charging us. Right. We can go in more depth. I've got an no, I mean, that's fine. I just kind of want to see where we're at, you know, what the main differences were. For like the, yeah, now. yeah. the main difference here is I can't ask them what the value is. Okay. We can table the item and do item eight first and go back to it if it... Yeah, if anybody has wants to hear the other one first, but yeah, and like I said, this is more of a housekeeping thing. This is by state law. I have to. We have to do this, or we have to find other means to um, to not to assess. Because we'll talk about number eight, yeah. but to do our to have someone do our plan review and inspections. So yeah, I'm fine with it. Any other questions? Do I have a motion? Come on, guys. I move that we approve the amendments on the agreement with Bear Veritas North America Incorporated on regarding new plan review inspection fees for residential construction. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Do we need to, does it have to have some type of verbiage to give gives the city manager the authority to sign this amendment or this contract? Uh, yeah, I would say and authorize the mayor to sign the contract. Mayor, city manager, uh, the, the city administrator. Okay, so do you want to amend? Amend the amendment. <laughs> authorize the city manager. Uh, okay, so so just start this all over or amend to no, amend just, just your amend motion? It, just, just, just amend it. Amend your motion. Okay, amend my motion to add that this can be executed by the city manager and the to mayor. Authorize the to authorize the city and manager and the mayor. Third. To approve it. Agreed. Seconded. Uh, we need to vote on the amendment and the yes. Right, we're voting on the amendment to the original motion. That's the amendment to uh, the city manager. So any discussion on the amendment? We did. we did. We have a motion and a second. Amy Great. made the amendment. Greg made Greg the made second. second. Yep. Oh, no, I'm talking about the amendment. But, but that's the same. Both the same on the amendment was Amy made the amendment. And, and Greg, Greg made the Greg second. That's seconded. All right. A motion and a second. Any discussion on the amendment? All in favor of the amendment? <laughs> the amendment passes. Now we will hear the motion. <laughs> The original motion with the amendment. Any discussion? All in favor? All right. The amendment is 
why we, we pay you the big bucks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, item number eight, to consider an act on amending the CDE's fee schedule regarding residential building permit fees. You, the mayor, good evening, council. As we mentioned earlier, um, House Bill 852 requires us now to change the way that we assess our residential fees. Um, what you have is an exhibit uh, that we are, uh, staff is uh, recommending uh, as far as our new residential fee construction. Uh, also, our, there's an addition to how you can do your, your permits for a trade which would be like if you're going to install a water heater or uh, air conditioner or something we have a uh, trades uh, would come in pull a permit uh, there's a flat fee for that that's also impacted as, as B and also we're, we're looking to, to to simplify our pool permit um, since we're doing this as a flat rate of 700 so I'd be happy to go through this with you on square footage if, if, if council so sh chooses uh, to explain that uh, in greater detail, um, is that the wish of council? Okay. Any further questions for Bernie? Okay. Do we have a motion? I move to approve uh, amending the city's fee schedule regarding residential building permit fees. All right, we have a motion. We have a second. I'll second. And a second. Any discussion? All right, all in favor? All right, motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and uh, we will now. At you, want, you want to take well? You want to take care of the information on them? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and skip through. We'll be um, going to executive session, but let's go down to um, mayor and council member comments. Entertaining me tonight. <laughs> okay. Any other comments by council? All right, city manager's comments. Um, I want to say hello to Mayor Moss and the First Lady Linda Moss as they are watching on the live stream. I um, hope they're enjoying their vacation in Colorado. Um, we will have a ribbon cutting uh, at Crown Point. Uh, that road will be opened officially on Friday morning at 8:30. Uh, you are welcome to attend. I know that's going to come uh, and bring some relief to some of those folks on the frontage road over by Micus during the construction. Um, so uh, congratulations, we're going to open that up. Um, we do not have this on the agenda, but I fully expect us to have uh, some agenda items to take care of on July 23rd at the second meeting. Um, should be some housekeeping things. We've got uh, we got to do a little bit more um, uh, due diligence on the contractor for the drainage projects, but I think we're prepared to move forward with that um, and award um, contracts for uh, the Lori Lane, um, what's the other side street? Um, Willowcrest. No. Willowcrest. Willowcrest. Thank you. Thank you. I was about to say Falcon Crest, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> Um, we should uh, uh, award that contract on July 23rd and, and get the contract started on that project. Um, and we have a few more housekeeping items that have popped up. So uh, I expect us to meet on July the 23rd. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Um, at, let's say, 7.43, we will adjourn to executive session. We need to read that uh, right oh. there.